Hello, my name is Dr. LaTanya Benjamin. I am a board certified pediatric dermatologist. I'm also a mother to a very active and happy five-year-old daughter. Sunscreen is a hot topic around my Florida patients year round. Navigating the sunscreen aisle can be a bit overwhelming, especially if you're trying to figure out what's best for your little one. Let's break it down into two most common types you'll encounter, chemical and mineral sunscreen. A chemical sunscreen is exactly what it sounds like. It contains non-natural ingredients and uses chemical sunscreen filters. A few examples of chemical sunscreen ingredients are oxybenzone, avobenzone, octocrylene. Chemical sunscreens work by penetrating the skin's top layer to absorb the sun's UV rays. While research shows they're effective, they can cause irritation and discomfort, especially for children. I prefer mineral sunscreens for babies and children. While chemical sunscreens absorb the UV rays, mineral sunscreens sit on top of the skin and forms a protective layer that reflects UV rays. Mineral sunscreens are also called physical sunscreens because they provide a physical barrier between the skin and the sun's rays. Mineral sunscreens use natural ingredients such as zinc oxide and titanium dioxide which are non-irritating and are the safest for children. One caveat is that some mineral sunscreen formulas may leave a white tint on the skin. But remember, you don't want your baby's skin to be absorbing harmful chemicals. While mineral sunscreens may leave a residue behind, that's just further evidence that it really is the safest option for you and your little one. Babies and children have especially delicate skin, so it's crucial to keep them protected against the sun. Make sure to look for a broad spectrum sunscreen. Broad spectrum means that the sunscreen protects against UVA rays, which penetrate deep into the skin, and UVB rays, which typically burn the top layers of the skin. For babies and children, I like an SPF factor of 50, which means it blocks 98% of UVB rays. Finding a sunscreen that's water and sweat resistant is important when it comes to young children. According to the Skin Cancer Foundation, it's best to keep babies out of direct sunlight for the first six months of their lives. Remember, babies are not especially mobile at that age and are at risk for overheating. If you can't avoid the sun, make sure to protect young babies with sun protective clothing, hats, eyewear, and with umbrellas and stroller canopies. Use sunscreen as the last line of defense against the sun. I tell parents to put the smallest possible amount of a mineral-based sunscreen on exposed skin, like the back of the neck, and on areas that aren't covered by the stroller hood, like the tops of the little hands and feet that stick out. Limit time in the sun for young children, especially between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., when the sun is the most intense. Dress your children in loose, breathable clothing, as well as hats and sunglasses. I also recommend that children wear rash guards when out swimming. Reapplying sunscreen is crucial and should be done at least every two hours or after swimming or sweating. And don't forget to stay hydrated.